Well, here we are. This is our first Friday video. I found some interesting things around the house. I dug out some of my old tutor's um, pipes and practice charters, and his name was Archie Templeton. He's originally from um, Las Mahago in Lanark. And amongst the things I found uh, is this box of reeds. You can see that now. Another one here. Now they're pretty grimy, if you can see, but they have a history because Archie wrote some notes out about them. It looks like they're all dated from about 1957. And one of them, the one that, uh, it's really hard to see the writing because they're so black now, but um, this one here was put in on the 10th of October, 1957, and it was retired in 1962, um, so they start to rattle on the lorry and stuff. So, and then he, there's another one here that he uh, retired and he resurrected. Uh, <laughs> so it lasted from 1957 to 1964. I think these were reads from um, Alexander. I think. Let me have a look. Alexander, yeah, in London. So anyway. That's those reeds, and we're going to see if we can resurrect one or two of them. I'm not sure this is going to work, but it looks got, got a pretty good mouth on it, if you can see that. That's what I look for when I want to look at a reed. It's, it's going to vibrate if we get the tongues thin enough. So, just going to put a wee bit of hemp on. Because the stuff that was on it just disintegrated. Right. And I've got a couple of old chanters here that were actually I've got an old Henderson, an old Sinclair to try and try it in as well. I've also got one of my chanters to see how they differ in sound. Obviously, this is gonna well, I don't know, it may not sound as good as the uh, the new one, but who knows? I'll just see what it's like now. So the first thing I noticed on here is that the blades are quite thick. So I'm just going to start doing a normal scrape across here. Well, I would normally scrape a reed. I mean, a reed is basically a, a tapered piece of cane. The thicker the, the cane on that taper, the, the harder it's going to be to blow. So I'm just doing um, what I would normally do to, to re reduce the pressure of one of my reeds, I'm just going to sand it down as well, and then gradually bring it over to thin the tips. You'll see from the way it's bright and when it's dark, where you can see there why. I, oh, there you go. You can see there where I've um, actually scraped it, and I'm just going to make it a wee bit thinner all the way up to the tips. I think I could do a little bit more on that, so I'm going to just. A little bit more. Right, Let's see where we are now. This is modern charter. Just try that again. Well, it's not bad, it's very, very easy. Let's just try this with the pressure gauge. Make this up so you can see it. Pretty good scale. 27. What was the pitch? That's what I want to know. Pitch meter here, which isn't turning on. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there is. Right, this is set at um, 485. I don't know if you can see that all right. Hopefully, you can. So I set me at about four 
479, about 480, around about that area, which is what you'd expect for a modern charger. This is a um, nail charger that they were trying to design for um, for bands, and uh, it was on their um, one of their prototypes that they gave me back in the uh, start of the last end of the last century. Start of the last. anyway, it sounds weird, century, doesn't it? But here you go. Here's here's my one. <laughs> So I'm just going to chop the top off it and then sand the tips down again. So there's my, there's my chisel. This used to be about three inches longer than this, but you know, when you sharpen it a lot, that's what happens. Now here we go. It's just going to chop the top straight off that. Quite I came off like dust. Just going to thin the tips down again. Just get that balance. struggle at the moment, I must say. Right. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good. Um, just a little bit over 480, 482. Now let's try it in one of these old charters. This one's a uh, this one's an old Henderson. I have no idea how old this is, but um, it does have a lovely bulb on it there. And uh, so, I use this one for playing at 466 um, when I'm playing with an organ or something like that. So let's have a look at where we are here. I'm going to put this down around um, 466. Come on, here we go. We should be close to that, I would imagine, but uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Yep. Well, that's pretty close, and if you look at the chanter here, where I've um, had to put tape on it to get it down to that... Uh, Pitch with a modern weed, so let's uh, probably take the tape off. Let's try this one of mine. Oh, well, more or less the same. Let's keep two reads. So it would seem to me that uh, bring this back up here again. Um, over the years, the pitch has come up, but the reeds haven't changed. So um, people have been bringing the pitch up and up and up, and it's the, it's not because of the reeds, it's, but they've changed the chanters to uh, bring the pitch up. You use the same reeds. Um, the same goes in reverse, really, for me. Um, I can put one of the newer reeds in a um, old chanter and still get a really good scale and I get it down to where I want it to be about 466 playing with an organ and uh, and it's the same with the uh, the old read it's more or less the same pitch so it's an interesting experiment um, I hope you all enjoyed that I enjoyed it it's quite a lot of fun if you've got any comments to make just um, have a look at the comments below on the web on the uh, YouTube site and you can write something in there okay all the best for now hope to see you next week